Jeffrey thinks all women are sluts. <laughs> I hate them all. They're all slutty. They're all stupid. Why won't they be my slut? Jeffrey spends 40 days and 40 nights trying to learn how to approach women, but he does it all in the wrong way. He sees them as the enemy. He doesn't even see them as a human being. And so what do you think happens when Jeffrey goes out and tries to approach women? Nothing. He never even takes action. He never even leaves his crusty computer chair, but he just continuously watches videos on how to approach women the right way. That's not you, is it? I first learned about cold approaching women a few years ago and I was hooked straight away. Me and my friend Levi would go to clubs and we'd be speaking to girls and we'd just be like chatting shit. And we actually did pretty well. Very often in the middle of a club, everyone's drinking, we'd end up kissing loads of girls. And every now and then, every couple of nights, we'd bring a girl back to sleep with. But that was at nighttime. What about in the daytime? What about day game? And you know, I'm pretty blessed to say that for me personally, day game has always pretty much been relatively successful. It's just that I've always had the wrong mindset so that I was never able to do it properly. I would watch too many videos. I'd start overthinking. I'd see the girl that I wanted to talk to and I would just not really do it. When I would build up the courage to go speak to that girl, oftentimes it would go really well. And I remember that I got some of the best experiences of my life in terms of getting girls with cold approaching and just going up to a girl and just asking her a random question like, hey, excuse me, do you know what time this gym closes? And she'll say something like, uh, I think it's like 10 p.m. I'm still there looking at her. I go to this gym every single day. I know that the gym's 24 hours and I'm like, oh, like, yeah, thank you. So what's your name? My name's Hamza. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> it's not 10 p.m. you stupid bitch. Adonis. Adonis isn't afraid to go speak to a woman. Why would he? He's seven foot three, 376 pounds. What is this puny human going to do to him? Adonis hasn't felt approach anxiety since he was a teenager. And although things were pretty difficult when he would go up and try and speak to girls when he was younger, he overcame the trials and tribulations and learned the skills and the right mindset. And now Adonis feels comfortable around new women. The best mindset that you can have when you're going out to approach women is simply success equals approaching instantly. Focus entirely on that. The reason why approaching seems so hard, the reason why sometimes when you get the thought, okay, I should speak to her and you start overthinking and you don't want to do it is because we play out the conversation in our mind and we're trying to think, okay, what should I say? How do I get her into bed? What's the highest percentage conversion rate of the thing that I can say, but there's people looking and we overthink things too much. We simply need to build up the habit of literally just going up to a girl as fast as possible and saying anything with the mindset and the humility to understand that the first tens, if not hundreds of times that we go up to speak to girls, it's going to be pretty trash. You can't expect to walk into the gym and have the perfect oh. gym workout on your first ever session, can you? But that's what a lot of people do. That's what a lot of people who, who have waited for the New Year's resolutions and everything, they think of the ultimate hardcore workout. And that's exactly why they don't go to the gym consistently because they've set the bar of success too damn high. When you go out to approach girls or when you've had the thought to do it, you've set the bar of success too high. For you, the bar of success is, oh, like the, the number close and, and she's got to fall in love with me. Maybe we can have a sex straight away. And maybe we will go on a date straight away and I've got to be able to be really good and no you can't expect any of those other things like the more advanced things just yet that's like hitting a pr that's like hitting three plate bench press it takes time to practice to get to those results right now we need you to just show up and just go speak and say anything to a girl just like for the beginner we need this beginner to literally just show up to the gym forget the best workout forget like you know overthinking about so many uh, strength training or hypertrophic tra uh, four rep uh, two second he said forget about everything else bro what the f just come to the gym Come to the gym for 20 minutes, you'll make progress. Go outside, speak to a girl, stutter, mess up your words, slur your words, say some random bullshit, it doesn't matter. Specifically training the habit of walking up and just saying something is the most important part. That's like the bottleneck that you need to be focused on right now. And imagine that, imagine training the habit that would allow you to literally just go up smoothly, instantly and go speak to a girl. Oh, but, 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 but Hamza, you're, you're disturbing her. She doesn't want to speak to straight. Shut up, bro. She doesn't want to speak to straight. Shut up. It's always guys who say this, like, oh, I don't want to disturb a girl's work, bro. Trust me when I say, and anyone who's like done a fair amount of approaching can back me up in the comments, the overwhelming, pretty much all the time when you go up and you speak in like a nice friendly way, she is pleasant. She actually speaks to you with a massive smile on your face. There's barely ever any times of the stereotypical time of like, you'll go up to speak to a girl and she'll be scared and she'll be like ready to fight you or some sh It doesn't happen in real life, bro. Almost every time I go up to speak to a girl, afterwards I just think like, why was I overthinking so much? Your mind overthinks, so what are these people gonna say? Okay, what's the best sentence to use? I'd go up, say something silly, like say anything. And it ends. we end up having a pleasant conversation. And even if I don't get her number, even if I don't end up dating her or sleeping with her. It's always quite a pleasant interaction. And I always think to myself, why did my brain overthink beforehand? It's because I have set the intention that the success in this interaction is like me getting the number close. Success simply equals you going up and speaking to her saying anything. You need to do that like a hundred times first before you can actually get into the groove and get used to this. Then you can start having the better intellectual attractive conversations. But first we need you to at least
let's enter those conversations. I could make this video longer and I could tell you the, the best uh, uh, sentences to say, the eye contact, body language, and uh, all of that stuff, bro. Forget everything because that's what's making you overthink and that's what's stopping you from actually going out there and at least starting the initial process. I love my mindset more than everyone else's I've seen on YouTube. Get into a hundred conversations. Even if the conversation is trash, you've made progress. You've shown up to the gym. Even if the workout is trash, if you've shown up as a beginner, you're making progress. Do not be like that fat 43 year old Susan who's waiting for the new year's because she had one workout of like you know, the body power class where they do like a bunch of fucking cardio and like 50 reps and she never comes to the gym again because it's too hard because success equals going to that class in her mind. For you, success equals having the best conversation. And too often when I speak about approaching and going up to speak to girls, a lot of guys will come to comments, oh but Hamza, tell us what to say. Tell me what to say, Hamza. If that's what your mindset is like right now, I see you scrolling down looking for those comments and also ready to like type one if no one else has done one. If that is your mindset, I have full confidence that you're not gonna do this because you're overthinking. You're like the guy who writes a script before he calls like his local takeaway but before you call someone you've already prepared the script you don't need to know what to say because even if you prepare the script even if you know what to say or you don't know what to say the first few conversations are gonna be awkward they're gonna be trash but the guy who's prepared the script will overthink so much more that he'll miss the opportunity of the first few interactions whereas the guy who has like the lean startup like you know the hit the ground running type of mindset he'll go up and breeze through that progress forget about everything else literally just focus on approaching as fast as possible. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.